Welcome to Delphi Labs. My name is Paweł Głowacki and today in Delphi Labs we are going to switch a little bit gears and this time we are going to create a brand new type of a data snap server application uh, which is not a data snap uh, standalone uh, server but this time we are going to go for the data snap rest application. This is the wizard that will create for me a completely uh, finished uh, web application that will con uh, consist of the uh, web application uh, and the client which will be the uh, JavaScript uh, code embedded in HTML markup. The first question on the screen uh, is uh, to select the web broker project type. So you have two choices. You can either create your uh, application as a standalone uh, self-contained uh, executable that will be both uh, the web server and the web application or it's also mm, possible to uh, create a traditional uh, ISAPI DLL uh, that can be deployed uh, to a web server like for example IIS. I'm going for this new standalone VCL uh, application uh, as my web broker project type. I'm going to test port 8080, this is uh, port HTTP port 8080, so this is a web application, uh, so this is the only possible uh, protocol to be used is um, HTTP. On the next uh, screen I'm going to keep the default values, I'm going to uh, generate some sample methods and I don't want to have uh, authentication authorization uh, to keep this uh, demo simple. As a base class for my server methods ancestor class I'm going to uh, go for the T component and now I have the last uh, screen uh, of the wizard is the project location. So this is a little bit tricky uh, because this is both the location uh, of the project and also uh, the last part of this path is the actual name of the project that's going to be used by the wizards so it cannot contain for example spaces. I'm going to uh, go for the for a special location so I uh, already uh, created on my local uh, folder my REST uh, web app uh, application uh, so that's going to be my uh, folder and also the name of the application. I'm going to click on finish and now uh, I see that my REST web uh, application uh, is stored uh, in the folder uh, with the same name. So what has the uh, wizard generated for us? So first of all uh, the main form of the wizard uh, is uh, at the same time a console that we can use to start and stop uh, the integrated web server and also uh, we can uh, launch the default uh, web browser uh, that will display the actual uh, application. The second uh, unit in this uh, work generated by the wizard is the uh, web module. So in every web broker application uh, this ha there has to be a web module uh, where all the HTTP requests uh, arrive and uh, they are uh, serviced uh, and that's the uh, place which is the most important in the uh, web broker architecture. We can see some uh, components uh, related to uh, data snap so we have uh, one server class component the main server component instead of having a, a transport component we have a dedicated DSHTP web dispatcher uh, that acts as a transport uh, for this uh, application type okay so uh, we also have two uh, page producers uh, our application uh, contains two HTML templates. Uh, one is a reverse a string, one is a server function uh, invoker. Uh, so these um, page producers are actually uh, pointing uh, to these two uh, templates. Okay, so maybe the good idea is to save uh, the work first. So I'm going to uh, save the unit to is most likely my uh, form main server and my second unit is most likely my uh, web module uh, main. So that's really not important because these are just names so let's see if I actually selected correctly. So I did it wrong actually I had the four main server uh, for my web module but it doesn't really matter. I can just to be on a safe site 
uh, I can rename it so this is going to be my uh, web module maybe a different name uh, unit so I have a web module unit and my second form uh, this is actually my uh, form uh, main unit so I don't uh, I'm not uh, confused so form main unit okay so now it's uh, everything is correct uh, so also let's have a look and or what types uh, do we have uh, in this application I can close this one and let's open uh, all the nodes so this is really a complete um, application that contains some uh, cascading style sheets and uh, some images and also quite a number of different uh, JavaScript uh, files uh, some of them come uh, some of them come with uh, with data snap uh, so for example this callback framework JS is uh, all the JavaScript you need to use if you want uh, your application to support callbacks also uh, these two guys also there is one file called uh, server functions dot gs so notice uh, this is the file generated by the data snap proxy generator so far we have been only uh, using uh, Delphi uh, for um, Del for client development uh, this time uh, data snap proxy generator uh, was used to uh, generate uh, the uh, proxy code okay so maybe it's a good idea to run the application to see uh, what kind of uh, output you are going to see. So that's my uh, main uh, form. Uh, this is the port I'm going to use. If I start the server, it will now start to listen to the uh, HT port 8080 and I can now open the browser. So I'm in, in the browser, maybe I minimize the browser a little bit. Uh, I have the my reverse string uh, page. So if I click on this reverse string I can see uh, that the contents of the uh, edit is reversed and what is even more interesting is the fact that I do not uh, reload the whole page so internally uh, the data snap JavaScript uh, is using Ajax uh, for asynchronous uh, communication with the server so that's a very good feature because uh, we can build a, a very nice and responsive uh, user um, interfaces okay let's click on this uh, other uh, page and here we have a, a server function invoker invoker so this is a, a something that is used uh, to just test uh, functionality uh, of the server so we have uh, different methods on a DS admin and also our methods on a T server methods one class so echo string and reverse string these are the two methods uh, that has been generated uh, by the uh, wizard these are the sample uh, methods if, if I uh, enter Delphi here and execute uh, I can see at the bottom of the screen that this is uh, my original value is Delphi and I see the result uh, reversed so this is uh, encoded as JSON uh, this is the underlying uh, format that uh, data snap is using uh, for communication between clients and servers okay let's do a little uh, experiment I'm going to close the browser I'm going to stop my uh, web application and I'm going to uh, actually go to my server methods unit and I'm going to replace uh, the implement the default implementation uh, with something else so first I'm going to remove everything uh, here and I'm going to uh, define something different for example I'm going to just a plain uh, add method uh, that we have been using on a sim simple uh, calculator service so I'm going to uh, define function add that takes uh, two doubles and uh, returns uh, returns a double okay so if I now uh, rerun uh, this uh, application so I'm going to click on open browser and uh, in the browser uh, I'm going to click on the server functions and open server methods and see that our test um, page uh, has been automatically uh, updated so this is very powerful very dynamic um, angle to this uh, data snap server so it was enough for me to just change the implementation uh, of the server and I could 
uh, of the server methods uh, just uh, rerun the application and this server function invoker uh, is in sync. So how uh, it was achieved? So that's a, a very interesting uh, question and uh, I'm, I'm sure everybody is actually now uh, very uh, interested uh, about the underlying functionality. So that's actually a good hint. So I see that module server functions dot gs uh, has been um, date time has been changed and we are asked if we should reload in the ID. Yes, we would like to reload. And this is uh, the actual, um, so this is actually um, the time right now when I'm uh, running this application. So this module, uh, this uh, JavaScript uh, uh, code, so this is actually, if I go to the bottom of this uh, page, I should see my uh, method add. Uh, so this is uh, actually uh, the proxy code uh, to call a method add uh, from my uh, JavaScript. So this, uh, this file has been automatically uh, generated. Uh, so if I go to the uh, web module unit and uh, select a DX uh, proxy generator component, so this is a component uh, that is uh, responsible for uh, generating uh, this uh, code. Inside the web file dispatcher uh, component, uh, there is an e event called before dispatch. So before the um, file is actually uh, dispatched, uh, we can see uh, that the uh, age uh, of the uh, server functions.gs um, file uh, is uh, evaluated e and if this um, file is out of date uh, then it is uh, regenerated by calling this dsproxygenerator.write. So that's that's very uh, useful. Also uh, notice uh, on the on the uh, DS proxy generator, uh, if you open the uh, writer property, uh, you can see uh, that there are uh, different uh, values possible uh, for uh, writer. So there are two uh, flavors of C++ proxy code, uh, two flavors of uh, Delphi and JavaScript. So this is one of the strongest features of a uh, new uh, data snap uh, architecture, the pluggable uh, proxy uh, generator architecture. So it's uh, relatively easy to provide uh, proxy generators uh, for other languages. So also inside of RAD Studio XE, uh, it's possible to generate uh, proxies for, uh, for Delphi Prism. Uh, so the code in uh, Delphi Prism language and also uh, proxies for uh, RAT PHP uh, proxies in pure PHP language. So that was a, a starting point for uh, building uh, REST uh, applications with data snap XC. In the next uh, episode I'm going to uh, modify and work uh, with the uh, JavaScript uh, client uh, to my server uh, functionality. Thank you very much for watching Delphi Labs.